Ninja Spectre, your piano ninja. So I just got finished filming a whole bunch of videos on Instagram and I'm so much more comfortable on Facebook. I've been doing it so much longer. So I thought I'd come here where I um, was just a little more reliable. I am, I was asked by a follower on Instagram to help her through video with a piano ninja trick that I've taught for 40 years, which is how to leap efficiently. So if you follow me, you know that I broke my right hand, ended up with seven fractures after a bad fall three, a little over three years ago. So I've retaught myself to play piano and I've done that by using all the piano ninja tricks that I've learned in my 40 years of teaching piano and then back from my days at Juilliard when I was a student with Earl Wild and my masters with John Perry, went on to take private lessons with Leon Fleischer. So I am here to teach all of those piano ninja tricks, how to trill effortlessly, how to memorize music, how to set your mind, something called the mind game, you can stop the mind chatter to help you, how to uh, play octaves faster. And it's not that it's about playing faster, but it is about learning more music because as advanced classical pianist, we all want to learn. There's so much repertoire to cover. There's so much beautiful Beethoven sonatas and Brahms and Hermetzi and Chopin preludes and Bach preludes and fugues that we're just wanting to learn. So I'm here to help advanced classical pianists learn more efficiently in half the time. So I'm going to do a little bit of a demonstration in that opening of the revolutionary etude to show you how I work on it. So to leap, so there's 88 keys to cover. We've got 10 fingers sometimes, oftentimes I only have five. So you can imagine the distance I have to travel with one hand. It's a lot. So I want to train myself in my nervous system how to do that efficiently. So one way I do that is First of all, I never take a jump and and move slowly ever. I only move really fast, even when it's in a, in a slow tempo. So when I'm playing the G and I'm jumping up here, my eye is always on where it's going to. So I'm jumping up here, my eye is not here. And I'm moving with what I call quick reflex motion. And I'll do that three times accurately before I close my eyes. Instead of closing my eyes so I can prove to you that I'm not looking, I'm going to look at the camera. So I didn't, I could tell I did not jump far enough and that's okay. There's no such, I don't believe there's any such thing as a mistake. We just learn from that. And I know I need to jump further. The last thing I want to do, I want to avoid bad habits. I never want to go from the wrong note to the right note because the, you're going to do in performing what you do in practice. So I'll go back to the original octave and then I jump and I'll do it three times again with looking with quick reflex. And now I'm going to only get my hand set. I'm going to look at the at the camera, I'm going to jump. And I, I could tell instantly I got it. I could just feel it in my hand. So now I can do that three times in a row and I got it. I can look at the first note. I just don't want to look at the note I'm jumping to and I got it. If I didn't like that other time, I'd just go back and correct it. So that's one of many piano ninja tricks available to you or pass this on. If you know anyone that's an advanced classical pianist, could be any age from high school to senior age that's working on Beethoven sonatas, uh, Bach preludes and fugues, Chopin preludes or etudes. I have a six week online mentoring coaching program calling coming up called Piano Ninja Tricks and lots of free videos for anyone studying piano or for anyone if you're just interested at pianoninjatricks.com. Thanks for listening. I'm Lisa Spector, your Piano Ninja, hence the Piano Ninja costume. <laughs> Thanks for listening.